Hi folks, this is Ron from Kult Garage, Hamburg, Germany. Today we have a very special car here. We have a Volkswagen Beetle or a split window Beetle from 1951. But um, that's so far what I know about the car. I know someone who is more in the details, he's breathing these cars. And um, I have my friend Mario with me here today and he will tell you something about the specific details of the car, what make that special car, all right? So here we go, Mario, can yeah. you tell us something? Yeah, for sure. Hi folks, um, yeah, already introduced, my name is Mario and the first thing I ask myself about this car is why is there a pretzel on the hood? It's very simple, the Germans don't call them split beetles, they call them pretzels because of the window. So it's a 1951, obviously it's a, it's a split beetle and it's green. This color has never been seen before in any prospects, it, so it seems to be a police car. What is it? Well, it's a very special one because it used to be a car of the Control Commission for Germany, British Element, which means it was the military government in the post-war era. So it was ordered in 1951 and uh, was first put road legal in 1951 on um, British number plates and it used to be a military car. So this color is quite different and if you see the specs of the car you find many items that seem to be a bit dodgy or don't match, match um, the year 1951 and this is because of this very special history of the car. What do you, what do you, what do you say with dodgy, what, specific, give well, me an example. For, well, um, first of all there were no indicators in 1951, right. so these cars had semaphores, even if they had, some, they had semaphores, um, so if you have a closer look at the fenders, they seem to be from a newer one, from an oval beetle. So they have the indicators and they have these little things here. Yeah. Um, originally they weren't on the car, so there have, has been some modification and we'll come back to this later. All right. um, a 1951 beetle, as this one, a standard, it's a very pure car, so it has cable brakes. Ooh. You have to drive it with double clutch, so yeah. it has a real crash box. It's not really a transmission, it's a crash box. It's yeah, not I, I felt it when I drove it in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, it's, yeah. it's kind of fun if you know how to, how to yeah, deal with it. it was. <laughs> yeah, uh, normally um, it has different shock absorbers and uh, it's, it's all a bit, you know, it's, it's very pure and uh, very spartanic. Yeah. Um, yeah, as I said, the car was ordered for the British Army. It was used for only two years. Mm -hmm. And then in 1953, um, it came to its first civil owner yeah, okay. in Hamburg yeah. um, at the British Patrol Company. Um, a guy was just looking after the car park. And he kept this car for nearly 23 years. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's, it's great to see the car still there because normally, if you bought a cheap beetle from the army, it was just to use and abuse. So yeah. you only did what you have to, to, to do to drive it. And, um, well, normally people didn't look after that very well, but obviously the guy did. Because um, he even got a new engine in there, yeah. although it's an original one, but it was put in there in 1961. Mm. And, um, Should we take a look at the engine? But there's something special, real special with the engine also. Yes, yes, for sure. So. From the back side, you see it's the classic standard beetle with no chrome, but it has long tail lights. Yeah. They match the front fenders, and so this is an, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is why the Germans call it pretzel, yeah. <laughs> so, but the tail, it still has this little thing called the Pope nose. Okay. Why ever it's called that. Um, it's got this very special engine lid that's shaped like a W. It's got these bumpers front and back, and it's got this little thing. What, a, what about this little thing here? So I can the show first, you. First when I saw it I thought maybe what did they left there? Uh, what, the light or whatever? i show you. So in there there's a 24.5 horsepower engine. All right. It's an 1100cc. Um, it's an exchange engine, so it has been overhauled, but it's an, an original um, VW engine, so it's not no um, DIY stuff. 
And as we see, there's a different carburetor on it. That's because it was thrown in there in 1961. Okay. Um, so here you see this little thing, this nut. And here you see a hole. And here you see this. So this is very special. If you open the door, there's a little crank in there. Could oh, please, right. Could you please bring it? So this is not for the jack of the car. Hey, give it to me, da, 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 da. Yeah, this is not if you have a puncture to, to lift up the jack. No, it's okay. to fire up the engine with a hand crank. So you put it in here. And then you can turn the engine. We won't, right. see, we won't fire it up here because it's indoors and it's yeah. quite cold. So, yeah, but it's very spe special. Um, it was on these cars till 1949. Okay. So if you, as a civilian, if you bought this car, you never had a hand crank. Yeah. But obviously the British Army ordered it this, this way because they... Uh, they ordered it? Yeah, it was a special car, you don't get it anymore. No, 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 no. Okay. On the, no, no, on a normal car, it was it finished in 1949. That's why I haven't, I haven't seen it before. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. But okay. the oldest car before I always had was a 53 or something like that. Yeah. So, so let us take, uh, we're finished here, or should we take a look at the inside yes. of the car? Yeah. Oh, look at this now. What do we have here? Oh, oh. the German Kraftfahrzeugbrief. The Fahrzeugbrief. <laughs> yeah, this is the German title, and it's the original title from 1951. No, 53, because before there was British oh. paper. So here's. <laughs> it's all filled in by hand. So it's Great. quite different from today. And we have the first civilian owner. He moved to another place in Hamburg. And then he sold it in 1973. No, sorry. In can't see, uh, 1974. Yeah. And here we can see all the specs. It's, uh, <clears throat> we've got the, the engine that was changed. And here is, wait, wait, hold on a second. Yeah. Sorry, I can't read it with these glasses. I'm getting it, too old. It, it's no problem. It's <laughs> getting too old. But this the guy who buys or the lady who buys the car can read it. Yeah, all right. The whole but evening, so it's, it's no problem. It's nearly 17, 70 years old. And it's the but original. this is the Bundesadler, you know? Yeah. Not the other one, okay? Yes. No, no. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously not. No. no. And uh, yeah, it's still there. So this is really rare. Normally, these yeah. cars went from hand to hand to hand yeah. and uh, the papers just were lost and you got new papers so this is all original and uh, yeah coming to the next point um, this car was only driven to uh, driven until 1974 okay and then for some reason the second owner just sold it to a Hamburg car dealer mm -hmm. and we don't know why. Maybe he just he just didn't like the way it's uh, of driving a it was an old car, car. maybe you make a swap or something, bought yeah, a new very car or simple whatever. Car. So if you yeah. drive with this car in Hamburg, you always have rain. And if you, uh, it's always raining. And in winter, if you have a look at these little wipers, you can imagine it's a car for guys who want to drive it. It's, it's not really fun. So it's, it <laughs> and um, yeah, so the car was, was uh, went to a, uh, to a dealership and Obviously, they have restored the car just to create some eye candy for their showroom. Okay. And what about the inside? When I look inside, so um, just open the door on the other side for the camera. Great. So when we look inside, we have some also some details. And, and the first time I looked inside, I thought it was all original. But then no. you, you let me know that it, it was also changed some yeah. things. Yeah. Like the suicide handle here. This, this is too new. Yeah, yeah that's it's, too it's, new. Yeah. These cars, these cars, cars it's, it's all about the details. Yeah. So, okay. you see, there's no sun visor, which is original. Um, the speedo and the, the speedo is original. The clock was, is some original thing from, a, from an export beetle. So it's, uh, it was put in there just to make it a bit nicer. This is 
from an oval, so it has been put in here, uh, it has been mounted maybe in the 50s. Um, this is a new one because for the German MOT TÜV, um, for the technical controls, you had to have a lock on the car to um, to to provide the car uh, to to um, for insurance for insurance reasons, reasons yeah because yeah, normally okay. it's it's just fired up by pushing this little button um, okay this one the the um, emergency lights yeah. had to be, had to be put in here for German um, for German regulations and um, the upholstery is some seventy stuff so it's it's okay. really nice it fits the car and it's absolutely immaculate so there's it seems to be totally new and nobody has sit uh, has sat here um for the last 40 years and i think this is true because it, it was just all renewed refreshed yeah. and pimped just to have some eye candy for the showroom and not to drive around with it yeah okay yeah so but here you see the acceler accelerator paddle this little roll this is original and this is very fun to drive because uh, you, you don't know where to put your foot <laughs> and you're not used to it um, another nice thing is this little knob here on the on the shifter uh, and the choke on the later models you find this one up here but this is very special so yeah from the inside so it's 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 not really original but it's it's lovely because it's 40 years old. It looks like new and was just, you know, left like this in the dealership and never changed again. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So the great if thing is I, I can listen to you hours and hours. So if, we be, if we've been in a game show today, I would say the next, <laughs> the next program starts about one hour later. Yeah. So, but we have a lot of things to tell. The other thing we shouldn't miss is this here. Also, I, I liked it when I looked inside. We have these little bench rolls here. When you sit in the, um, in the rear bench, you can. Uh, it's, it's an armrest. It's yeah, not armrest, famous, I guess. But yeah, yeah. maybe you like it. These these are <laughs> original, so it's the original cloth, yeah. but it's from an export beetle. So it has been put in here. It doesn't really belong to the car, but it's period. So um, it's it's just a period detail that should be left on the car as it is. But it was in in the first years of the car. Yes. So yes, yes, uh, it's for it's, me it's original. It's you know? <laughs> fifty one stuff. It's it's okay. Yeah. All right. So um, anything else has to be explained to that car, especially so we had a change of the front wings. Yeah. The inside, you told us some little changes over the last seventy years. Yeah. Um, this we call it the blinkers here yeah, the in Germany. Indicators. The indicators yeah. Yeah. They were changed from a little later model. Yeah. Okay. The horn, the horn on the um, on the bumper is also original stuff. So it's this it's not year. only for decoration. It used to be there, but this one just doesn't work. So it's, it's okay. only there. Okay. Um, yeah. The funny thing about the car is it's still here and it hasn't been. It, it has been. Uh, it hasn't been driven for the last forty years. Yeah. Although it's drivable, it's road legal so you just can take it for a spin in Hamburg. Okay. I did it once and it was really so, fun. So we make something special. If someone from outside of Germany is buying the car that's the reason why we make this this English video here. Um, so we're talking English. about yeah, German English, <laughs> German English, <laughs> Deutsch English. So we make this Beetle video, Bretzel video and with Mario and Ron from Kult Garage Hamburg. So if you have any questions, you're interested in the car, give us a call. And um, if you buy the car, I promise you, I will talk to him. So he will give you another hour of explanations <laughs> about this car, because that was even not 30% of what he knew about this car. I, I'm not so. sure if people will encourage this to um, call you, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So the payment for today, like I promised you is you got the Beetle today. <laughs> you got okay. the so I give you back the papers. Now. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so bye bye folks from Kult Garage Germany. See you back. Bye. <laughs>